still so much that we don't know, still so many answers uh, that we all want. You want them, we want them as well, as parents, as people who live in this very same community as you. The one thing I do want to touch on, though, we wondered in our morning meeting today about Texas gun laws, because if you've been here forever, maybe you know them well. But think about the amount of people who have moved here to North Texas over the years for lots of different reasons. There's a lot of people here who probably aren't in tune with current Texas gun laws. So, Karen Borda, welcome you back into the conversation. I know you spent the day looking into this to give everybody kind of a definitive view on where we stand in this state right now when it comes to gun laws. Yeah, this is just kind of a basic overview, Doug, because uh, I've spoken with experts who, who admittedly say, I mean, the laws are murky, they're confusing. So, in uh, September of 2021, the state legislature amended the law, the gun law, so that te Texans no longer need a license to carry a handgun. There are still a number of requirements and exceptions to that law and a long list of places where guns are still prohibited. We did speak with law enforcement expert Dr. Alex Del Carmen from Tarleton State University to clear up what can often be a confusing topic. In September of 2021, it became legal for Texans to carry a handgun without a permit, but there are restrictions. You must be 21, can't have been convicted of a felony or certain misdemeanors, and have no protective orders against you. To buy a long gun, the same requirements apply, except, as with federal law, the minimum age remains at 18. This is a country that was founded on the premises of using weapons in order to defend your rights as a citizen. So the idea was that you were carrying a long gun in order to hunt and be able to feed your family, or if you wanted to defend your property and or your person. And so they saw it as a, as a constitutional right versus one that would allow somebody else to simply go out there and buy a handgun that would have all these wonderful features that handguns have now. Um, this is more of a traditional historical a component in our country than anything else. Despite an open carry law, there are restrictions to where you can carry. Guns are not allowed on school or college campuses, airports, federal buildings, and any business that declares with proper signage that guns aren't allowed. And Dr. Del Carmen says, despite not needing a license to carry in this state, there are still benefits to having one. The fact that you have a license means that you've gone to a range and you've actually qualified with your gun. The second thing that it means is that there's been some sort of instruction that has been given in a classroom setting as to the laws of the state of Texas uh, on places that you can and cannot carry that gun. And thirdly, it does allow you to get you know, insurance at a cheaper rate for carrying that gun. Andy says if you ever get pulled over with a gun in your car, it's important to immediately let the officer know you have a gun with you to avoid putting your life and the officers at risk. And as political reporter Jack Fink reported in the first half hour, a bill to raise the age from 18 to 21 for people to buy certain guns has advanced out of committee. It still has to be placed on the calendar for the House to consider before the end of the session later this month.